Why do we blow out birthday candles? Find out the answer during the course of this video. Which is the coldest planet in our solar system? Uranus, or Neptune? Answer. Uranus. The seventh planet from the Sun, Uranus, has the coldest atmosphere of any of the planets in the solar system, even though it is not the most distant. Uranus is, on average, 1.79 billion miles from the Sun, while Neptune is, on average, 2.8 billion miles from the Sun. Being more than a billion more miles away from the Sun, and receiving only about 40% of the solar radiation received by Uranus, one would expect that Neptune would be much colder than Uranus. However, while the coldest temperature on Neptune has been measured at, minus 217.78 degrees Celsius, the coldest temperature recorded on Uranus was at, minus 223.88 degrees Celsius. It is believed that, as Uranus exhibits an orbit with a tilt like no other planet, this tilt makes the planet spill out a lot of heat into the space, thus retaining very little. One more reason cited is that, Neptune has a slightly higher level of methane in its atmosphere than Uranus. Methane is a gas that traps heat. So, Neptune is more efficient at keeping in the heat generated at its core, and hence is warmer than Uranus. Which is the largest country in the world? Answer, Russia. The largest country in the world is Russia, with a total area, that is land area plus water bodies like lakes, reservoirs, and rivers, of 17,098,242 square kilometer and, a land area of, 16,376,870 square kilometer equivalent to 10.995% of the total world's land mass. Its Asian portion makes it the largest country in Asia, and its European portion of roughly 3,960,000 square kilometer makes it the largest country in Europe. It is followed in the second position by, Canada with total area of, 9,984,670 square kilometer, and a land area of, 9,093,507 square kilometer. Which animal's name translates as the water horse? Answer, hippopotamus. The name hippopotamus, comes from a Greek word, meaning water horse or, river horse. Hippos prefer rivers with deep water and, nearby reed beds and, grasslands, but are also found in saltwater areas near river mouths. They are well adapted to stay in water and, are excellent swimmers. Their ears and nostrils located at the top of the head, close automatically, when the animal is underwater. Recent DNA tests have revealed that, 
the hippo is more closely related to cetaceans, that is, whales and dolphins, than to any other artiodactyls that is, even toad hoofed mammal. Hippos prefer to stay in water through the day, coming out only at night to forage for food. This search for food may take them five miles inland, so they liberally mark the path with their dung and urine to help them find their way back home before dawn. Which is the largest fruit in the world? Answer, Atlantic Giant Pumpkin. Atlantic Giant Pumpkin is the world's currently heaviest and largest fruit on Earth. The record-breaking pumpkin weighed 2,193.9 kilograms. It was grown by Benny Meyer. The Atlantic Giant is likely a descendant of Mammoth Pumpkin, which held the world record from 1904 to 1976. Now back to the question number one. Why do we blow out birthday candles? Answer, putting candles on birthday cakes, is a tradition that has been around for a long time. It can be traced back to the ancient Greeks, who often lit candles, as offerings to their many gods and goddesses. The ancient Greeks, would bake round honey cakes, to symbolize the moon and, top them off with candles, as a special way to pay tribute to the moon goddess, Artemis. Lit candles were added to represent the reflected moonlight. Some ancient cultures believed that, the smoke from the candles could carry prayers up to the gods. Others believe that the tradition of birthday candles started with the Germans. In 1746, Count Ludwig von Zinzendorf, celebrated his birthday with an extravagant festival involving, a large cake with holes made in it according to the years of the person's age, with every hole having a candle stuck into it and one in the middle. The Germans also celebrated with birthday candles during Kinderfest, a birthday celebration for children in the 1700s. A single birthday candle was lit and placed on the cake to symbolize, the light of life. Today, we continue to put birthday candles on cakes and many people still hold superstitious beliefs about them. Many people believe that a person must make a silent wish before blowing out the birthday candles. It is believed that, if all the candles are blown out in one breath, the wish will come true and, the person will have good luck throughout the year.